Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and I'm here to say that I think people should stop talking about things that happened 300 million years ago, 2 million years ago, even 60,000 years ago, the, ho- the Homo sapiens sapien. I think you need to stop talking that bullshit. You need to stop talking about that because you do not know what you're talking about. And then when we get to the point where we ask about the missing links and you stumble, you're stumbling because you're not, you do not want to add otherworldly people to the equation. You, you want to think that you are the only one who live in this universe. You want to think that. And the fact that there may be other intelligences out there, you do not, for some reason, you have a block. There's a blockage in your mind. You do not want to entertain it. So you, you are rather say that your scientists are, what they tell you, millions of years playing around in dirt, running after your food. Stupid and dumb as shit. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Dumber than dumber. Millions of years in that particular state. Millions of years being foolish. And then all, within a matter of no time at all, you have the internet. You're going up to the moon. You're traveling in planes, trains, automobiles. That's that's the best you can do. That's the best you can do with your mind. So when you start thinking about that space, that short space, even in your time, if you're in your 70s and 80s, you have to remember going outside to the shit house. You have to remember that. So in this small space of time, it jumped from caveman to modern man, and then when they don't want to explain to you where they're getting all this technology shit from, they tell you about um, missing links and um, blah, 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 they t- uh, you know, come on, there's no missing link. The only thing that they're not telling you is, is there are other people in the universe that ha- they have technologies and the upper echelon on this earth, are trading with them. They're dealing with them. Now, what on earth can you trade? I guess people? I, I, I don't know what on earth they can trade, but or less they're making the people here on this earth more comfortable because the more comfortable you are is the more comfortable they are. But you have to actually embrace the idea that you're not the only ones living in the universe. That there may be other species of beings with a lot of technology that visit the earth and they would say, take me to your leader. And exchanges are made, like the internet, like flying planes, you know, like, you know, the flat screen TVs, yeah, they exchange whatever they need to do, they do. And you get it for a price. You have to pay for it because people here are greedy. They want money. It's called capitalism. And, you know, people want to be billionaires and trillionaires. That's what you have to deal with here. And you also have to come to the conclusion that because there are so few at the top, that this earth is more likely fashioned as a slave planet. There was slavery. There is slavery. There will be slavery. There's poverty. There are people that live in the worst conditions. And you look at them and they're pushing out babies. How do you have sex when you're so poor? How do you do it? So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a show. This is a show right here on the earth. People are just dumb as nails. A lot of people don't seem to get it. They're not understanding the situation they're in. But whatever you do and however you come to me talking about 
scientists and, and intelligence. No, no. Something is giving your scientists info, information. There's, ex, there's an exchange of information and there's an exchange of, of technology or whatever. Not, well, not really an exchange. You're being given technology. I don't know what you're giving in return. What could you give in return? Humans? So that's why we're supposed to bring the babies in and have babies so that we can trade them? So that you can trade them? Come on, take your head out the sand. We're not alone in the universe. That's, that's the bottom line. You're, we are not alone in the universe. We didn't get from caveman millions of years in a certain situation and stayed in that situation for millions of years and then to suddenly and miraculous, miraculously come into this stage where we have all these things we have in our homes. It didn't happen magically like that. Everything is a program. Everything is given. Everything is upgraded. Everything. Everything is an upgrade. And you have to add that. What, however you are thinking, you have to add that to your equation. You are not alone in the universe. This is Sherry Veronica.